What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hall's Capital video. So we're going to keep going with our polka dot video series. And as I've mentioned, I just want to give, give you guys the updates on important information that you need to be aware about uh, that's going on with the network, update you guys on the new parachains that are coming. And again, we're only really talking about the new parachains. Um, some of these that are bidding for these, these, these auction slots are, have been bidding from like the first auction and they keep losing. So no need to keep going over the same project. I only like to present the newer ones uh, that are just now coming up. Uh, and then what I want to do, guys, I actually have an opportunity that I'd like to share with you today that's on testnet. And again, speculation, it could lead to a future airdrop. Who knows? Uh, in the past, we know that um, these type of projects usually offer some type of governance token and the governance token is usually dropped to early users and early adopters and people uh, who came in early so again that's all speculation we'll have to wait and see uh but what i want to do is share with you some opportunities happening on the a star network all right guys and this is all in testnet so if you decide to follow along with me in this video it will cost you no money of your own it's just play play money and that also means whatever you actually do today is not real all right so if you buy a domain today using the testnet tokens when the main net goes live, you'll have to come back and repurchase your domain for real using real money. And that's very similar to how Algorand did theirs and ICP naming service for the Internet Computer Protocol, how uh, Definity, they did their uh, naming service as well. They had a test net and then they had a main net launch. Um, so very similar. Now, being that it's test net, I'm going to show you everything you need to do, um, how to get the networks and everything and how to get some test net tokens. Uh, first thing we need to do. Uh, you got to come on over here to network details guys and this is all found in the uh, a star document page under network details it's going to give you all three networks <clears throat> that exist you have the a star network which is the main network uh you got the shooting network which we know is the sister network on kasuma and then we've got the i'm going to call it the shibu shibua uh network and this is the actual test network for both of these uh, chains, okay? Um, and you will need this if you wanna do any type of testnet stuff on A star. so you probably already have this set up. But if you don't, here's the website that you can get everything. And when you're adding it to your MetaMask, it should look like this, all right, guys? Once you do it, it should everything should show up and the ability to save should pop up on there. Um, just copy and paste everything would be my recommendation. Don't type it because if you type it and you miss something, you miss a character, uh, everything on that is wrong. So just copy and paste correspondingly into your MetaMask. Now, once you have the testnet set up in the MetaMask itself, guys, you're going to need to get some testnet tokens from the faucet. Now, to do that, I would recommend you just join the Discord. Even if you just join the Discord to get the tokens and you exit the Discord right after that, that's fine. You know, all you're here for, all you're there for is the tokens that you need. Uh, once you join the Discord, you're going to go to the faucet. Uh, you go to the faucet page and you're going to use the backslash drip. And then you're going to paste your address, your MetaMask address in there, and they will send you 50 of these SBY tokens to your wallet, all right? Because you will need these tokens to pay for gas and everything else, um, and they send you 50 of them. So I'm going to assume that you've set your MetaMask up with the A-star testnet. You've got your faucet tokens and your testnet tokens. Now we're going to go ahead and go to launch app. Uh, a few things I will tell you, some issues that I had with the launching of the app. When I went to purchase domain, the very first time when I did the purchase of the domain, um, I found that it, it it didn't acknowledge that I hit submit and I went purchase. So it kept popping up and asking me uh, to purchase, purchase, purchase. My recommendation to you, don't keep hitting the purchase, submit, submit, submit button. If you hit submit one time in your MetaMask to do the purchase and then you see it comes up again, what you're going to want to do is just refresh the actual screen here, come over and refresh the page, and then you'll more than likely see the domain actually pop up. Because the first domain I bought was this one, and I hit it once, and I did I, I did the purchase, uh, and it said error, network error, unable to mint, but when I refreshed the page, it showed up, so I didn't have to do it twice. Um, just giving you the heads up on that one. All right. Um, and again, these domains, like I said, guys, it's a testnet domain. So if you really want these, you will have to come back um, and you'll have to get it uh, when mainnet goes live. So let's look for one that we will get. All right. So we'll do Mr. Miami. 
and we'll see if anyone has that. I doubt anyone does. No one has it. Very simple. Uh, you can see the characters based off of um, just like previous domain name services, the smaller you get. So from five, anything greater than five will be cheap. Um, three and lower start to get a little bit more expensive. All you simply do is hit buy right there, guys. It's going to go ahead and pop up in your MetaMask. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. All right, so I confirm the transaction and that should be it. I should get a congratulations screen just like that. And that's it, you're done. When you wanna see the domain, just refresh your page right there and it should show up everything under, uh, under it for you right there should show up, all right? Uh, they also have the same instructions that I just gave you, but if you click right here, guys, um, it's going to take you right to here. Well, not to there, but it's going to take you right here to the docs page. So that's the docs page. That's the docs page. It just takes you right here to where I just told you. And again, I'm going to include those um, under under the what you call it under the video for you. So you guys will have access. Let's refresh again and let's see. It looks like it hasn't updated our fourth uh, domain that we purchased unless maybe I can only purchase three. I don't really know if there was a limit. I didn't look to see any limits. <laughs> um, I doubt there's limits, though. Let's give it a second. Let's see wallet successfully connected. Uh, there we go. All right, all four domains did show up. So like I said, guys, if you're having issues, the refresh button is your friend. It usually brings everything back to life. But that's it. Uh, very quick video. Uh, A-star domains in testnet right now. Uh, when the main net does go live, we'll come back. Possibility of a future airdrop. Again, that is all speculation. But just a believing and assuming um, that they're going to need some type of governance token in the future. And they more than likely will reward early adopters, hopefully. I hope this video is helpful, guys. And I will catch you on the next one.